Substance Painter has a limited number of built-in fonts that you can use and some of them aren't all that useful. And so I'm going to show you how you can take the fonts that you have on your system and get them into Substance Painter to use all the time, anytime. Now in order to do this you would need a copy of Substance Designer and Substance Painter. I'll also make some of these available so that you don't have to have Substance Designer and you can get a few more fonts into Substance Painter. All right, but at any rate, here in Designer, I'm going to click on New Substance, Empty, and I'm going to give a name to the graph here. I'll just call this, um, start with Arial Font. And I'm going to leave everything else the same, including the size, 1024 by 1024. I'll click OK. And to start, I'm going to press the space bar and choose Output. And all I have to do here is to scroll down here where it says Usage and click on this plus and make sure that this says diffuse. That's it. All right, now, so let's get some fonts in here. I'm gonna press the space bar and type text, and we have the text node right here. We have to change just a few things here on the text node. First of all, scroll down to the specific parameters and click color, it's gotta be in color. And I'm gonna give a name now to, and I like to use the name of the font, so I'm gonna write Arial. You can do it in all caps, or I'll just do it like that. Arial, all right. And I want to come down here where it says background and the alpha, I want to pull all the way down to zero so that it's transparent, right? You don't want a big black box or anything, you want just the font. And then you can apply glow or drop shadow or whatever and it's got a transparent background. All right, there's a couple of other things we want to do. Um, up here where it says text, we're going to expose some parameters so that they're available in some sense. Uh, Painter, such as changing the text here. So I'm going to click on here with the three lines and choose Expose as New Graph Input and just or, and just uh, say OK. So now it's turned blue here. We want to be able to change the font size and possibly the alignment center or left or whatever. All right, so those three, that's all you have to do. And then you choose your font here. Now it's already got Arial selected, so that's OK. Now I'm going to connect these two. And over here, this one says Arial Font. I think I'm actually gonna change that, rename this to say Font and then Arial. And it's an unsaved package so far, so I'm going to right click and choose Save As. And now find a place to save this. Um, for now, I'm just going to save this on my desktop. All right, but you wanna put it in something like I've got a folder called My Fonts. Just put it on my desktop and it's going to be font arial.sbs so i've saved the graph so i can reuse that for another font now to get into substance painter i'm going to right click published.sbsar file and save that somewhere good now i'm going to save that actually again on my desktop and click ok all right let's go over to substance painter now so if i come over to my alphas right now and I type in font I will get a list of the fonts that are available and here they are all right and I'll also have some predetermined words we're not talking about those so I want to get the Arial in here all right so I'm gonna click on this import button add resource I'll come to my desktop and find the font Arial dot SBSAR I'll click open alpha define as an alpha and then really i would normally want to keep it on my shelf forever and i'll do that later but for now i'll just put current session but you want to put it in shelf i would assume anyhow so you always have access to that font even when you close the program import there it is let's do a search though under font all right you can scroll through these and you can see there it is now all these ones show the word substance with the font you know on it but i like to do it this way so i can quickly find it, it says font Arial. all right if i click that and i'm going to go into orthographic and i'll come over here and i think i'll leave that on on Arial. all right and i'll just click that there and we have Arial font in there how about we add a filter maybe a glow filter for all of these and change that to a dark color 
and just play with this so that we can always we can see it it'll just leave it like that all right so we now have our aerial font in there let's let's do another one i'm going to come back to substance designer i'm going to uh let's see i'm going to click on this node here and i'm going to come up and let's see if we can reset all right make sure i'm on color and let's go for a different font let's go for impact so i'm going to type impact down here don't forget to choose impact all right there it is it looks like that and we want to have this exposed so we have the text the font size the alignment we've got impact let's come over here and rename this as font impact this one save as again I'll put it on my desktop I'll call it font impact all right that's the designer file and now I want to bring that into substance painter so I'll publish as SBSAR and it's gonna be font impact where on my desktop okay back to designer or substance painter sorry and we'll import font impact.spsar as an alpha and I'm doing it to the current session all right there it is and let's go over to the layer itself and let's change this to say it already says impact by default now we have impact font in there I'll do one more all right back over to here we will reset let's do Verdana okay and expose okay those four are or those three are blue we're on color and we're going to rename this font Verdana and it's just repetitive as you can see for any font that you want save as font Verdana. okay right click publish that font for Dana okay and over in painter import font for Dana the SBSAR as an alpha to your shelf but in my case current session for Dana and now you have that of course you don't have to say that you could say uh, uh, new font uh, let's say something sci-fi sci sci-fi okay so you're not stuck with using just the fonts that are in substance painter you now have new fonts in there and again if you save them to your shelf the next time you come in they're going to be available and you can just quickly switch back to anything you want change this here and say sci-fi and you can put that in here as well all right so i will leave links or a link in uh the description of this video i'm going to be putting them on the discord if you come to see this in years from now uh they may not be there but uh while it lasts uh they're available uh, for you to grab all right all right cool take care